Hey everybody, Nathaniel Dodds and Tutvid.com. I've got another video editing tutorial for you here today. We're going to talk about audio and video transitions in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. And I think that you're going to really like it because transitions are super important. They allow you to make a transition between two different audio or video clips or both. And there's a lot of kind of like little things you can do with transitions that you might not know about. So let's try to get through this pretty quickly and take a look at audio and video transitions in Premiere Pro. Number one, you can find these audio and video transitions in your effects panel. So that's under Window Effects. If you open it up, you have notice an audio transitions folder, which you can double click to open. You got a crossfade folder, open it up, and you got three little crossfades. And then you also have video transitions where you've got some 3D motion and you know with zooms and slides and wipes and dissolve and all kinds of different things. Now, some of these effects are a little cheesy. I will grant you, they have like you know shades of Windows Movie Maker and 2003 and horrible things like that. Um, not that I have anything against the year 2003 per se, but you know what I'm saying. Um, but among all of these different effects, there's, there's just a lot of different things that we can do. But for the most part, we're going to be using crossfades and things like that to kind of fade clips off or maybe fade clips together occasionally. Um, it all just go, depends on the style for which you are, um, uh, toward which you are shooting, I should say. Uh, so here's how this works. Uh, I have this video clip here, and I've got another video clip lined right up against it, and I want to just fade between these two clips, all right? So I'm going to zoom in on this here, and what I can do is open up Video Transitions, for instance, go to Dissolve, and let's do a simple Cross Dissolve. Your Cross Dissolve is your simple fade two clips together and have them just seamlessly, like, melt into each other. So that's Cross Dissolve here. I'm going to drag it, and I would drop it. You can see I can drop it entirely on my initial clip or entirely on uh, the clip to which we're transitioning, or I can actually drop it on the the transition marker itself so it really pulls from both video clips. Now sometimes if you're at the very beginning of a video clip or the very end of a video clip, a Premiere Pro might only let you set the transition entirely on one or the other clip. It still works pretty well. I tend to like to just get a nice clean, just this kind of saddling cross dissolve. And you can see here if I play through this now, we just boom, fade right to the next clip quite seamlessly. Now, um, before we get into actually editing the cross dissolve itself, I'm going to undo that. Commander Control D. Now, if I select w this transition point and I hit Shift and the letter D, it's going to apply a cross dissolve automatically. Now, it's doing this because cross dissolve is my default transition for video clips. In fact, if we look over here in the effects panel, you can see there's like this additional box around the outside of that um, effect. You can see it, right? That box. That's because I've right clicked on it and chosen set selected as default transition. If you realize you're using tons of morph cuts, you're doing a lot of like interview video and you want that just perfect facial fade, uh, you're going to be using this, this amazing morph cut feature. You can just right click and choose set selected as default transition there. And then that would be the default transition that's dropped on any clip when you use that shift D hotkey. Uh, it's pretty simple. I just leave mine at cross dissolve because I don't know. That's just generally what I use when I'm doing this. Uh, and the same thing goes here for your audio transitions. You can see there, that's the default transition. Now you may say, oh, what about audio? Well, I can click right on that transition and hit shift D as well. Uh, you can also go, I believe it's command shift. This would be control shift on the PC, command shift D, and that will only drop an audio transition on there. Uh, and then I believe. Uh, command, I want to say Command D uh, or Control D by itself will just add a, the transition to the video track. Um, typically, I'm adding both audio and video transitions, and I'm kind of just flowing through something. And of course, if you work on a project where you have a ton of the same transition, just go ahead, just a simple right click, set a new default transition. Hey, why not? Um, I'm going to undo both of these transitions. I want to show you one more thing here. I can select all of these clips that I have here and just hit Shift D. Whoops, Shift D. There we go. And it's going to give me an audio and visual transition for every single clip. So this is amazing. If we need to do something, I can undo this. I could just do something like come in here and select just the video track and hit Shift D and apply uh, it, that default cross dissolve transition to every video clip that I've selected. So if you have 100 video clips lined up and you need the same transition, instead of dragging to every single clip from the effects panel, select them all. Shift D, bam, done. It's that easy. Pretty amazing. I'm going to undo that though. Uh, let's zoom in here and take a look at, uh, at what we can do when we drag this clip out. So if I drag, I'm going to close up my audio transitions here, go back to Dissolve, I'm going to grab a Cross Dissolve here, drop it in place. Now, if we want to really work on this uh, Cross Dissolve itself, you can select the actual Cross Dissolve and look to your Effect Controls panel. 
where you can do things like change the duration of the actual cross dissolve. Now you can also do this down in the timeline by just grabbing the end of the cross dissolve and making it either longer or shorter, uh, depending on what you're looking for. And you can see this is uh, one second or a little over one second. I should say one second, 24 frames. And I believe this is a 30 frames per second uh, timeline that I have out here. So I can do that, but I can also grab the entire um, cross-dissolve transition. Well, I need to make it a little bit smaller here, but I can grab the entire cross-dissolve transition and actually move it so I can have sort of it heavily weighed with my old footage as it fades into the new footage uh, or vice versa, depending on the effect uh, that I'm going for. Again, maybe you want to hang on and see more of the original clip before you start fading to the new one and have it really slowly fade out into the new one. You can do that. Um, so you can move your cross dissolve around. You can do the same thing up here. You can grab the cross dissolve and move it as you see fit. You can stretch it out, uh, yada, yada, yada. You can also just straight up give it uh, a, an alignment. Go ahead and recenter it at the cut, which is going to just you know center your cross dissolve and do that kind of saddle effect. You can start it at the cut. You can end it at the cut. Um, again, these things all just depend on how long your clips are. See, it's kind of saying, eh, we're going to have an issue there. There's not, there's not enough video to fill that in. Um, but, you know, I'm just going to go with center at the cut. And then, you, of course, you can you can shift and adjust it as you see fit uh, if, uh, if need be. Now, another thing that can be really helpful is, again, this goes back to that whole maybe you've got 100 clips lined up on your timeline and you need to apply, you know, 98 transitions or something to basically all of the video clips. But you don't want every cross dissolve to be a second. Maybe you want them to be like 10 frames instead of, you know, a second long. You can do that. Here's how we do it. We go up to Premiere Pro and choose Preferences and go to General. Note the hotkey as well, Command or Control, comma. That's going to open up your General Preferences. Just a nice little nifty hotkey to have in mind. And right here, Video Transition Default Duration. And you can work with either frames or seconds. Um, so the default here is just 30 frames. If you want this to be 60 frames, go for 60 frames. If you only want it to be 8 frames, boom, go 8 frames. And by the way, you can see Audio Transition Default Duration is 1 second. You can change that as well. Um, and side tip, it has nothing to do with this tutorial, but it can be very, very helpful. If you drag like a sequence of images in, maybe you're putting together some kind of presentation, you can change the still image default duration as well. So every image doesn't come in as like five seconds. Instead, you can maybe make it three seconds. Here, I've got this at 100 frames at 30 frames per second, a little over three seconds per image. You can drag like 100 images at once onto your timeline, and they'll all line up perfectly and be exactly as long as you want them to be. Kind of a side point, though. Um, doesn't really have to do with the video and audio transitions. But you can do that. So here we have eight frames. I can hit OK. I can get rid of this cross dissolve. Select it. Hit the delete key. Boom, it's gone. And uh, I can just click on that little transition. Go shift to D. And you can see it's a much smaller cross dissolve. In fact, if I play it, you can see it's just going to bam almost instantly give me that nice snappy cross dissolve. So it's not like this long stretched out cross dissolve. That tends to make your video look older, like it was shot in the late 90s, early 2000s. It's really not something that's in style right now, those long drawn out um, cross dissolves. But if you look at old films, old documentary, VHS, stuff that was shot on VHS tends to have long cross fades. Um, so that's it for crossfades, whether it's video or audio transitions in Premiere Pro. There's a ton you can do with them. The hotkeys are super helpful. It's just that Shift D or Command Shift D or Command D, depending on whether or not you want to add uh, or where you would like to add your um, your default transitions. And yeah, for hotkeys and transitions, default transitions especially, and the preferences to change them. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodds and I'll catch you in the next one.